So today I'm going to look at how you can layer characters behind objects uh, that are in slide backgrounds. So you'll see here I have this character that is uh, behind the desk. So there are two problems when you're dealing with characters um, on top of backgrounds. One, you'll see this character here. If I drag her in front of the desk, she actually ends up in front of the desk and what I want is her behind it. Um, the other problem is sometimes I might want somebody in a chair and uh, it could work where I cropped him, but in this case you'll see because there's a rounded edge here, it doesn't work very well. So I saw a solution. Um, Stephanie Harnett had posted a screener about um, how you can use slide background fills um, to kind of pull through and create transparencies. And then Linda Lore followed up and did the same thing. You can see the uh, URLs here if you want to check out their video tutorials. Let's see if I can go ahead and replicate what I just showed you on that first screen. So the first thing I would do is I would right click, I would go to Format Background, I would go then for my fill, I do Picture or Texture Fill. I need to select from a file, here's my background called Office Looking In. I close that um, and now I have this background. So now um, what I'm going to want to do is find the areas where I would want um, to have the character um, behind the object. So for me it's going to be this desk and this chair. So uh, what I would do here is I would go to insert a shape and I'm not going to do the best job here just for time's sake but let's see what I can put together quickly. So let's say that's pretty good for that part of the desk and then for the rest of the desk I'm going to use the freeform tool draw a shape here or I'll grab it like this maybe get down to there so that she could be behind this part of the desk and then connect it hopefully where is it I didn't get it quite right so I went ahead and paused it and created the shape um, so here it is. Um, now I want to format the shape and I'm going to go to slide background fill. And You'll see now you can see the background through there. I'm going to make the line color blank. Let's do the same thing here. No line and the fill will be slide background fill. Okay so now let me close that. Let me draw this put it on top of there and now let's see what happens. I had this character already here. Boom. She's a little bit too big. Let's scale her down. But that's looking pretty good. Let's get her the right size. So you'll see the slide background fill. If I were to move that um, that object here it would fill her in and bring the background in front of her as well. Let me just undo that. All right, so that's back there. Let's go ahead and do this chair. Um, so same thing, I want him to be in front of the chair. So let's first, I'd crop him a little bit probably. So let's go to format, crop, and then let's get him maybe to there, just so his feet aren't sticking through. And um, you'll see the problem would be around the, the rounded edge. So let's go ahead and use the freeform tool with the chair and just go home, let's grab the freeform tool and let's just go here with the chair. Doesn't have to be perfect for this demo. So let's try and see what we get there. All right, so let's go to format shape. Uh, slide background fill, line color, no line, close that, scale him up, and now you'll see you can drop him down below and you'll get the rounded edge and that works pretty well. So hope that lesson helps. Um, it's a neat little trick. It only takes three steps. Remember you just need to format your image as the background insert the shape over the areas you want to be in the foreground and then format shape slide background fill. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.